Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I will discuss few of the basic questions from the Polar Code. Like, what are the equipments required for higher latitude navigation as per SOLAS and Polar Code? Then what is Polar Code and Polar Water Operational Manual? And what is the egg diagram? So let's get started. The equipments required for higher latitude navigation is two radars, two gyro compass, two eco sounders, each with an independent transducer or one eco sounder with two separate independent transducers. As per SOLAS Chapter 5, Regulation 22, a clear view is done. Two searchlights with two spare lamps, a weather facsimile receiver and a spare antenna and one GNSS compass. Moving on to the next question, what is a polar code and polar water operational manual? The International Maritime Organization has adopted the international code for ships operating in polar waters and that is called the polar code. Amendment was made to SOLAS by adding chapter 14 called safety measures for ships operating in polar waters, thus making it mandatory. Because it contains both safety and environment related provisions, the Polar Code is made mandatory under SOLAS and under MAPOL. SOLAS amendments entered into force from 1st January 2017. The Polar Code highlights the potential hazards of operating in polar regions, including ice, remoteness, rapid changing and severe weather conditions, and provide goals and functional requirements in relation to ship design, construction, equipment, operation, training, search and rescue, relevant to ships operating in Arctic and Antarctic waters. The code requires a polar water operational manual. Let me share the salient features of this manual. This manual is required to be carried on ships, which shall include information on ship specific capacity and limitation, specific procedures to be followed in normal operation and procedure to be followed in order to avoid conditions that exceed ship's capability. This manual also include specific procedures to be followed in the event of incident in polar water. The manual also contains procedure for voyage planning to avoid ice and arrangement for receiving weather forecast, special measures to maintain equipment and system functionality under low temperature. The manual also contains procedures for contacting emergency response provider for salvage, search and rescue, spill response etc. Basically the manual provides sufficient information for the owner, operator, master and crew regarding the ship's operational and limitations in order to support their decision making process. And the last question what is egg diagram? An egg diagram is used in the ice charts. The egg diagram represents the amount of ice, type of ice and age of ice in the area covered by the ice chart. As you can see in the diagram, symbols like CT, CB, SB, FB, they all have a meaning. Once you see a symbol like this on the ice chart, you check that code on this diagram like SB stands for the stage of development as the second thickest, it's the oldest. And if we talk about the concentration, and if we see the code CA, it means partial concentration, and the kind of ice will be thickest and the oldest. I hope this was a useful video for you. If you have any feedback, suggestion or comment, then please do write down below. All the best for your exams, and as always, thank you for watching.